Gmail doesn't offer a native tool for creating or adding tables to your emails. However, you can use some workarounds to insert tables into your Gmail emails. In this video, I'll show you three simple methods to create a table in Gmail. If you simply copy a table from Excel and paste it into Gmail, this is what it will look like. The cell borders are gone and you lose the formatting. So, in this method, let's see the quick trick to do it properly. First of all, make sure you turn off the plain text mode in the Email Compose tab. Now, open your Excel spreadsheet. Select the range of cells that you want to copy. Then, to convert the selected area in a table format, go to the Home tab, click Format as Table, and choose a style from here. The area is now formatted as a table. We just need to copy the table and paste it into the Compose box in Gmail. You can now send it to your email recipients. In this method, we'll use Google Sheets to create a table, then copy the table from there and paste it into Gmail. So, to get started, launch Google Sheets on your browser. If you have already made a spreadsheet, you can upload it from your computer. Otherwise, create a new spreadsheet by taking a blank sheet. If you're making a new spreadsheet, enter your data here, and create a table. I'll use a spreadsheet that I created earlier. Next, select the area that contains your data. Copy the selected area. Now you are ready to paste it into your email. Guys, this method will also work if you are using the Gmail mobile app. In this case, you can use the Google Sheets app, which is available for both Android and iOS. The process is the same as the web version. If you want to create customized tables from within Gmail, then CloudHQ's Gmail Tables extension is your solution. With this free extension, you do not need to copy tables from Excel or Google Sheets. First, add the extension to your Chrome browser. The extension provides an option to create formatted tables in your message natively. Click on it. Then select Table. From this window, you can select the formatting specifications to make your table as required. Specify the number of rows and columns, spacing and padding in each cell, border thickness, the table's width, and even header row and column background colors. Once done, click OK. Now, you have an empty table in your message. Finally, you just need to input your data.